Hi guys, welcome to another quick video of mine. So recently I decluttered my art supplies and my drawer for that and I stumbled across some really cool supplies I totally forgot about and started picking up again and I also stumbled across some really old supplies I will never use again. So I decided to make a little video about my favorites for this year 2023. Um, I keep answering those comments about what sketchbook am I using, what pens am I using, so just one huge video that sums it all up. Okay, so most of my videos are about sketching, urban sketching, sketching mindset, sketching tips, sketching everything. So let's start with sketchbooks. <laughs> so my favorite sketchbooks are always like medium sized or smaller ones because I like to carry them around with me. And I'm also a fan of categorizing sketchbooks and using different sketchbooks for different types of work. I don't like much at all together, like different aesthetics and different themes. I don't like doing that. So here are different ones for each purpose I use. So I'm gonna start with my main one. Okay, this one. This is the Hahnemühle Nostalgie sketchbook. I love that the pages are quite thick. Like, I can use every supply I want in them and it does not bleed through. Like, watercolor, brush pen, even markers to some extent, although there I have to be a little bit careful. But all in all, it is quite thick and also very smooth and white paper. It's quite the opposite of watercolor paper. I can just use any brush pen or any any pen that I want and it glides so fast over it and so smoothly. Plus it has a hard cover, I can just toss it in my bag and carry it wherever I want. It's like the perfect everyday companion for me. Next one. This is the Esquiz uh, at home practicing sketchbook of mine because it has a lot of pages. The size is way larger than my usual ones. I love that I don't have to carry it around, it's just for my practicing tasks, for trying new mediums, trying different techniques, study old master's art. I don't have to show it to anyone because it's my personal practicing sketchbook and I love that I have the space to try new things out. And the best part is that the pages are so thin that I don't care if I mess up and there are even these stencils where I can just rip pages out if I don't like them, but usually I don't do that because it's only my practice in sketchbook I don't have to be perfect in here I don't have to like it, it doesn't have to look good it's just my smear around sketchbook and what I love is for the price 120 pages at for this size is quite cheap so I can just buy it over and over and over again and I never get to use normal paper again because this is all bound together, all my experiments in one book. Let's go with a smaller one. This one is from uh, Leuchtturm. I feel like everybody knows Leuchtturm. It's like the go-to journaling book. There are different sizes and every color you can imagine available. But I really need a smaller one. This one is a new one. I haven't started yet, but um, I always have a journal with me and I I love doing like small thoughts I get through the day and just write them down even like ideas I want to sketch like sometimes I get them and I of course can use my notes app on my phone but I love like uh, sketching little thumbnails here and there if I get an idea that I really want to take down on some paper and also if I just want to do like small sketches I don't always have to use like a full page sometimes it even pressures me if I have to use a full page but I have to say like if you want to use some cool materials like watercolors or markers or some even some brush pens in here this is like not bleed proof like everything bleeds through it's like really just for a specific type of fine liner and a specific type of like pens or pencils you can not use everything in here but it's fine because it's not the purpose of that sketchbook for me um i just want to mention it if it is something you would want to use in that kind of sketchbook i also have one sketchbook type i'm currently not using but it's like my all-time favorite and i'm just not using it because i want to try different ones not because i don't like it so i still gonna mention it it's the toned watercolor sketchbook also from hanemühle and the best part about it is like the size and the type of paper inside once you open that up um there is like either the beige type of hint to the paper or a bluish tint and this is a sketchbook specifically made for watercolors and urban sketching outside because I feel like through this little color on the paper it gives it such a unique look it just looks finished even though you didn't finish the sketch so there's one downside and that is that this type of sketchbook is quite expensive so that is why I don't use it right now because I want to save up some money um, but look how thin they are like there is not a lot of paper so you might get a bit pressured 
through the price and through the expensive paper from this sketchbook but once you get comfortable with them like it looks so good and I can just recommend them okay this was it for the sketchbook so let's get over to the pen so let's start with the Pantel Tradio Stylo pen and what I love about it first of all the design and when you open it up the grip it is such a nice grip I don't know I, I really love holding this pen and uh, sketching with it and when you look at the tip it is an angle tip meaning that if you use the side of it it is a thick line and when you use the tip of it it is a very thin line so this is a very precise pen if you want to do like detailed work somewhere and one thing that I also like about it is that you can open it up and if this is uh, empty you can just refill it like buy a different inner part and just use the same grip and the same cap for it so it's just the same design and you only change the inner part of it but unfortunately it is not waterproof because I tried it and I failed so the the color is not waterproof only use it for a sketch above watercolor or like not with any watercolor at all but even for writing I love this pen uh, it's one of my favorites okay so let's keep going with Pentel I love Pentel um, this is the brush sign pen and the brush sign pen pigment I'm gonna tell you the difference in a minute but what I love about the pen is when you open it up the tip is a brush pen tip but a very very firm one so it's more like a fine liner than a brush pen but you can apply pressure and it just looks so fine it's just so um, so fun to draw with it because it's so uh, changeable in line weight and how you can draw with it I always call that juicy because I want my pens to be juicy and just if you draw a line like the ink just gliding through it and not like scratching on top of the paper I hate that but I have to tell you the difference because the one with the glitter is the brush sign pen and it's like water based so you can dilute it with water if you need but the other one is the brush pen pigment and it is the only one that is waterproof why am I telling you this because this is the only one I'm using for watercolor but the other ones are available in so many different colors I have so many different ones of them so if I want to use it as just a fine liner I'm using the other ones because I want to use different colors but for watercolor this one so let's not forget about the Pentel pocket brush pen this is like a real brush pen not the brush pen like the ones before it is a very loose brush pen you can even see the hairs like and the, the ink coming through it is such a thick pen a Japanese style pen and what I love about it it's uh, really fully refillable with like carriages you just put inside and these are available in I think brown and uh, black if you want it is also waterproof like thank god I, <laughs> I love waterproof pen I wish every pen was waterproof I don't know why they even make water based ink pens like <laughs> But this one is a like must-have for filling in shadows or for just having this rough textured ink uh, sketches. Ah, I forgot to mention my uniball pens because these are the ones I'm using quite recently. If you draw a line, it is quite the same size and does not vary in weight. But sometimes I really want that for like my under sketch or if I uh, really want to do some um, filling in with a lot of lines. For example, if I draw some people, I lo uh, love drawing with these pens because they're so thin and I can emphasize on some facial features. And these are available in some colors like blue or red or even some like glittery ones and I love to layer them on top of each other because it just gives the page a nice kind of look. And the best part about it is that you can combine all of these pens for their specific use and make a unique looking sketch in the end. Um, like I love this one for like my brush strokes and this one for shadows and this one for details. So all in the end it all looks so different. Let's continue with color because for colors I uh, still decided to include my watercolors because although I don't use them now um, I think this is quite an important mention. So this is the Schmincke watercolor. I wouldn't say box because the container is a non-brand container where I just put some Schmincke watercolor pots inside. Um, and this is like a basic color palette and I also use this uh, brush, this travel brush that I can just open up and uh, yeah, it is ready to use and when I'm finished I can just close it back and put it inside of uh, the container and it's like the perfect size for it. What I love about Schmincke watercolors is that it dries really quickly, it is very pigmented and is considered like high quality watercolors and I love that the containers are that small that you can just carry them around. 
um, so yeah this is like the perfect travel kit for me okay let's continue with colors um, these are the pastel colors from Faber Castell and what I love about them is that in comparison to normal pencils they are so much smoother and you can just smudge them together and they are so much more pigmented um, and in comparison to real pastel colors they're not as smudgy so if you like close up a sketchbook page it does not smear around um, and also there's quite a huge color palette like there are so many colors and you can just pick these pastel -y ones that go well together for a page just use one or two and just use them for some accents on the page and uh, these also go well with a normal sharpener like regular pencils they're just like a bit better for me. I love using two different types of like markers. First of all like Copic but the Copic sketch line because this has a quite wide color range but still has a nice tip and same goes for the touch markers. So these are my favorites. Okay so one thing I forgot is the Tombow water brush. Yes I told you guys some time ago that I hated water brushes but uh, as for this one this has a really really fine tip it is so fine that I could use it as a fine liner or as a like line art pen and this is the great thing about it because I can just fill it in with some sort of ink that I have and I have a lot of inks for example this is a purplish blue tint I diluted with some water and now it's like perfectly fine for line art and is waterproof and may buy some more of them and just fill them up with orangey tones or brown tones or bluish tones and then I have a like variety of those for one picture to use Okay, the next ones are not supplies in that matter, but they still help me to sketch a lot, so I'm gonna include them in this video. Next is this water spraying bottle, and yes, it is such a dumb idea, I know, but I used to carry around a water container, and it was such a messy thing always to fill it up with water, then the water gets dirty, then I had to put the water somewhere and always like clean my brush in there, and I switched because, first of all, it is a cool effect. Thing to use on your on your paper if you spray on the paper itself and the color spreads and does its magic I just love what you can do with that plus if you have a container for your colors you can just spray on the colors everything is wet and you can just mix it in the container I don't know it's it, it works better for me than a normal container so the next thing is such an obvious thing but um, a simple clip I had so many troubles with like pages flying around when I was sketching outside, pages being flipped over or me having this struggle with thicker sketchbooks. So I just have this clip and I can clip it on top and then the paper stays where it has to stay and I can just remove it when I'm finished. It's so easy and I don't know why I haven't thought about it before. The last one is if I want to stick something inside of my sketchbook or my journal, some sort of receipt or photo or some postcard, something interesting, I always use the sticks for that but I don't know once I use the sticks the paper crumbles in like this very unesthetic kind of way so I found out that if you use these kinds of uh, glue rollers like this like this one from Tesa there are a lot of like you can use a lot different ones but then it does not happen the paper stays like clear and soft and you don't like it does not crumble like that i don't know i just like these okay these were my sketching supplies that i use for now i don't know these might change in the future i thought about doing the same for my printing supplies but i don't know if you guys are interested in this because i mostly do sketching videos now and not as many print videos as i used to if you're interested just leave it in the comments and i am gonna do another video of those or if you have a like art supply that i didn't mention that you want to know about or if you have some art ideas like art supply ideas i have to try out or use because i'm always happy to find new things to try out yeah that was it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day bye